Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KipAdger.com, out here with my posse. Ira. And Jada. Ira and Jada. And we are out here today to review this guy. This is the SW22 Victory, a Smith & Wesson 22 pistol. Shooting Surplus ended up sending this out to me and since then spent a bunch of time with it. To include time with the Q Erector, 22 caliber suppressor, but yeah, really stoked to actually spend time with this. In the course of probably the last month or two, definitely put, I don't know, probably a good 2,000 rounds through this, somewhere along there. And yeah, definitely have some opinions over the course of that time. I like this gun. It's pretty heavy. It doesn't make tons of sound. It's really silent. Um, I like this, uh, the scope right here. You kind of see a red dot through it. And then this uh, trigger works very well. Um, I like this uh, silencer. It's, it works really good. And a um, oh, green dot. That's a really good scope also. Well, I like this pistol. Considerably light even with all these round pieces of metal. Good, accurate, good amount of ammunition. Yeah, it's, I just really like it. It's fun to shoot, easy to shoot, and yeah, it's just fun to shoot. Now that my boys have given you their expert opinion on this pistol, I will go ahead and chime in. I really like this pistol. One. 22s are just, they're a blast to shoot, especially suppressed. And it's a great pistol. For me personally, this is a great way to introduce my boys to shooting pistols. One, I don't really want to put something larger in their hands straight away. And one, because the recoil involved in it. If you have something that recoils a lot, that's not pleasant, especially when there's already so many other things that are trying to go through your head as far as, hey, like, am I holding this correctly? Am I manipulating this right? Am I being safe with this? And trying to give them all of those different little corrections. And at the same time, they're just like, man, this is going to be really loud. And yes, you can shoot this without a suppressor. This one happens to come with threaded barrel, which is amazing. Shooting suppressed 22, it's about as fun as it gets. It really is. But one of the things I do appreciate about this is that transfer of skills with respect to my boys or other new shooters that I introduce with this. That being, all of your controls are the same. So you don't have something that you would only do on this pistol. By way of example, like you have your magazine release. It's not like a heel magazine release at the bottom of the grip or anything like that. Charge it, right here, slide release, all your controls, safety. It's really fun, it's a good time. Additionally, I really like that it comes with a nice bright fiber optic front sight, and it actually comes with an adjustable rear sight on here. But also included is this top rail. It's a polymer top rail, there is a notch back here. So if for whatever reason you decide to remove an optic after you put an optic on, Pistol's still usable. It doesn't just sit there and you have to like swap the rail back out because you don't have any sighting provision. And the fact that this rail is included, I think that's a big value add. What I usually like to do with my boys is once they've established that yes, they can use the sights that are on, whether it's a rifle or a pistol, and it's like, okay, cool. Like, do you want to put optic on there? And they're like, yeah, let's do that. And so right here, I have this little Attaball reflex sight and it makes it fun, like it absolutely does. And that largely is what this pistol is for me. Can you go utility, hunt, do whatever? Like absolutely with this. As far as accuracy wise, we'll get to that in a minute. But this for me largely is about having fun and also a really good vehicle to teach, whether it's my kids or other new shooters, basically how to handle and manipulate a pistol. Have I had any malfunctions with this? Yes, absolutely have. Honestly, most of them come from Federal. I don't think I've really had issues with any of the other ammo I've ran, 
whether it's CCI or some of the Gymtech Subsonic, and I think also some Winchester, but oh, this thing's actually done really good. Occasionally, it will have kind of a failure to feed, and again, for whatever reason, it, this particular gun happens to be with the Federal ammo. I haven't tried, obviously, every ammo out there under the sun. Accuracy-wise, how does it do? Actually, this thing does really good. Here's what I ended up getting. All of these groups were 10 shot groups, shot basically from a bag at about 25 yards. This thing can definitely shoot. If you miss, it was probably on you. If there is one thing I would say there was a little bit of a shortcoming with this, it's a little bit heavy, especially if you have little arms. The weight of this, especially keeping it out at distance, it can get heavy. And my son sometimes kind of pull it back in because it's too heavy to keep there, kind of extended out, presented, which I get it, but they also grow fast and get strong really fast too. If you want, there's some pretty good aftermarket support. You can get barrels from, I believe it's Tactical Solutions, essentially a steel insert with aluminum, fluted, lighting this whole gun up some. But overall, pretty rad little pistol. If you want to pick one up, obviously you can get them through Shooting Surplus. There'll be a link over on my site, take you right to it. And while they have a number of different models, this one of course being the threaded barrel, which I would encourage you to do because silencers on 22s are next level of fun. So much fun. But if you pick one up, let me know how it does for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Yards, guns and roses, one handed. Turns out it's kind of hard. <laughs>